Hello, dear students. Welcome back to my channel, Truth Study Smart. So today's video is going to be about the article "Blood on the Tracks," which is written by William Hamilton Dalrymple. So students, first you have to write some details about the author, William Hamilton Dalrymple. But who was William ha William Hamilton Dalrymple? So let's get started. William Hamilton Dalrymple is a Scottish historian and writer, art historian and creator, as well as a broadcaster and critic. And after writing this detail, you all have to on to this work. Blood on the Tracks was written on the partition on Indo-Pakistan circumstances. One summer day, he was at the Lahore railway station discussing the architecture and style of the railway station. The building of station is a strange hybrid with the texture of many different periods. Only the kios here was authentically Pakistani. There was a great hustle and bustle. So after writing this detail about the article, you are going to write before the arrival of the railway in 1850. Travel in India meant months of struggle and difficulties. By 1863, some 3 million tons of rail slippers had been shipped to India from Britain in around 3,500 ships. It also brought special revolution and made time short of the journey. But somehow it also became the eyewitness of some worst violence that took place at that time. This is the most important theme of this article. Violence. So moving on to the next passage, ironically, some century later it also paved the way for the division of the subcontinent. Muslims in India had in the Pakistan, while Hindu and Sikhs decided to stay in the opposite direction. The city of Lahore, which is the main city of this article, for some times remained undecided territory between both the nations until the final map was released. It also became the battleground. So, students, it can be questioned how Lahore became the battleground. On the night of independence, the last British official in Lahore arrived at the station, picked their way through booted streets, many of which still littered with the dead from the rears that attended the partition. According to its architect, William Brinton, the whole station had a defensive character so that a small garrison could secure it against enemy attack. So this whole information regarding this article is very much important. Moving on to the next passage. Walking around the railway station, William Dalrymple, who was the author of this article, met Abdul Majid. He was an old man with Henneed hair and heavy plastic spectacles. He wore a sparkling clean shalwar kameez and sat on a magnificent throne raised a mahogany dais above platform 1. So students, you have to write the analysis of this article. Start from here, walking around the railway station. So moving on to the next passage. He said that he had retired from the Pakistani railways 10 years earlier, but chose to come to the station and sit in the information booth by choice. I love this station. That's why I came back and decided to devote my life here. He asked him about the change that took place during these 40 years and Abdul Majid said that change is not only in railway station but also the general sphere of life. He said that more about the general ways of life. He told about his journey toward Pakistan after partition, that he and his family were made to walk to a refugee camp in the monsoon rains. There was no facilities for drinking water or for even the most basic sanitation. And soon the cholera broke out. In the camp, his mother and father died on the same day near the mosque. At that time, he was only 15 years old. He also lost his younger brother and never saw his, him again. In the morning, when the train passed the bus river, I looked down and saw hundreds of corpses scattered in the riverbed from point to point, being eaten by crows, dogs and cats, giving bad smell. This whole information is given by Abdul Majid. After many hours, 
we eventually crossed the Pakistan border from Atari at about 15 hours. We were stunned when they shouted, Pakistan, Sindhabad. They welcomed us and gave us food and water. Then we thought we are still alive. He said that he was coming to Lord Station since a student. One day, Khwaja Bilal told me as we sat on a bench outside what had once been his station master's office. Before the partition took place, the station was a landmark of beauty. The platforms were clean and spotless, but on the day of partition, after hearing the partition, the killing started and slaughter began. Everywhere we looked, we saw carnage and destruction of human life. There was no law and order. Despite the presence of soldiers, many were killed on the platform, in the bridges, in the ticket hall. There were stabbing, rapes attempts at arson, and at night screams and mourn of the dying coming from the platform. On 30th August, when Bombay Express came in from Delhi, there were around 2,000 people on this train. We found dead bodies in the lever place. The biggest migration in the human history was only possible because thousands of people were moved from one end of the country to the other end by this rail, railway station. The wound that created at that time was so deep that to this day. So after writing this whole detail, you are have, you come here at the analysis, blood on the tracks. That is started from here. William Darwimper wrote Lahore Blood on the Tracks to actually describe the background history and situations before the partition of subcontinent. He uses to travel and try to portray the whole picture of that situation and event when subcontinent becomes partitioned. A large number of people were migrated by that track of train about which he wrote his whole traveling story. People were migrated at a very large amount. There was bloodshed conditions everywhere. Blood on the tracks actually tried to track back all those historical moments. So, this is most important here. Blood on tracks metaphorical the feeling of having someone you love completely removed from your life. You can feel like being hit by a train. So, anything hit by a train would leave blood on the train. So, that is why the article topic is blood on the tracks. Next point is thematic concern of the blood on the tracks. That what are the themes of this article? So the thematic concern are the editor's selected research topic of current scientific interest. So in this article, blood on the track, following are the themes: love, war, revenge, betrayal, patriotism, wartime loss, motherhood, and isolation. So let's get start our themes. Blood on the track in a view of thematic concern. Blood on the track is basically described the way of partition between India and Pakistan that how people travel from India to Pakistan using railway station of Lahore. So migration, bloodshed and live history and also patriotism again changes after partition and most important railways are also another themes of this article. Yep. So there are total 12 themes from this article, Blood on the Tracks. Migration, bloodshed, live history, patriotism again, changes after partition, and last but not least, railways these 12 themes are very much important from this article so after writing these themes students you are here to write some stylistic features from this 
article which William Hamilton Dalrymple has used. First one is interview. What is interview? Interview is the most common technique of a high-powered writer. The opportunities to meet and talk are highly prized and although in terms of information they tend to be merged, they give the reporter a chance to make at least a brief sketch and thus to inject his reportage with elements of human interest. So an example from this article is Abdul Majid, an old man who had retired from railways years ago. He said that the change is in the general sphere of life, in the shape of corruption, in the shape of requirements, etc. So second one is simile. What is simile, student? Simile is the direct comparison. So for example, the sky is as pink as Turkish delight. The horse station rears like a liner of the ocean, etc. So these are two are the examples from Blood on the Tracks of simile literary device. Third one is imagery. It is the stylistic feature which means the use of particular words that create the visual representation. So example from Blood on the Tracks. It is barely dawn and the sky is pink as Turkish delight. Yet already at 5.45 Lahore Central Station is buzzing like kicked hive. Fourth one is parenthesis. A word or phrase inserted as an explanation or afterthought into passage which is grammatically complete without it in writing usually marked off by brackets, dashes or commas. So example from blood on tracks text for four from the station like Lahore rain the railway lines which bound the subcontinent together but which were eventually to act as the agent of their bloody division at partition in August 1947. So this is the fourth stylistic feature. Fifth one is metaphor. What is metaphor? A metaphor is figure of speech that describes an object or action in a way that isn't literally true but helps explain an idea or make a comparison. So example from Blood on the Tracks article is railways is used as metaphor of creation as well as of destruction so these two are very different words creation and destruction next one is irony the use of words to convey a meaning that is the opposite of its literal meaning so example from text is when Englishmen came to subcontinent they built up railways to help them to travel around the subcontinent many engineers put their efforts into this they built this up to help them but a century later the same railway were the pathway to war so this is the example of irony that they created railway stations to help but the same railway stations are worth the pathway to war history becoming alive it is an activity that incorporates historical tools activities and dress into an interactive presentation that seeks to give observers and participants a sense of stepping back in time so example from Darwin Police, before partition took place, the station was a landmark of beauty. The platforms were clean and the carriages were spotless. The people were calm and quiet. The stop was well dressed. The uniforms they wore were immaculate. The buttons were polished. The braid was golden and shown under the lights. All that ended with partition. So this is the example. Next is Oxymoron. An oxymoron is any grouping of oppositional groups 